The very Reverend Bernard O'Connor will step down as president of DeSales University on June 30th. Father O'Connor first took the helm here at DeSales on July 1st, 1999. He is currently the longest serving president of a college or university in the Lehigh Valley, and the impact he has made on our university is clear to see. Father O'Connor first joined Allentown College of St. Francis de Sales as an instructor back in 1974. Six years later, he began serving as an assistant professor of philosophy and chair of the philosophy department. In 1987, he was named associate professor and chair of the philosophy and theology departments. He became associate vice president for academic affairs in 1993, academic dean in 1994, and executive vice president of the college the following year. DeSales has undergone significant changes during Father O'Connor's leadership. The biggest, a name change. Formerly known as Allentown College of St. Francis DeSales, we received university status from the Pennsylvania Department of Education and officially changed our name on January 1st, 2001. I think the name change set the tone for uh, the future of DeSales University. The Allentown College of St. Francis DeSales former name confused people. They thought we were in Allentown, which we never were. They thought we may have been state affiliated or a state institution, which we weren't. The sales really kind of changed the perspective of people and people seem to take notice more. The size of our campus and the impact we make on our community only continue to grow. Since 1999, a number of new residence halls and academic facilities have been renovated or built, including the Priscilla Payne Heard Science Center, the Sales University Center, Aviat Hall, Welsh Hall, Donahue Hall, and the University Village. In 2000, we introduced the Salesian Center for Faith and Culture, the first and only center for research and development on campus. But the biggest addition by far is the Gambit Center, which opened its doors in 2013. This 77,000 square foot, $27 million facility features a simulated trading room that rivals what financial companies use. The building also boasts state-of-the-art science simulation laboratories and the area's only human gross anatomy laboratory. When you are in the simulation lab, you are in control. That hands-on experience allows you to start thinking like a nurse, to develop your critical thinking skills. Big changes can also be seen in our athletics department. The first phase of the Dr. John Campardo Athletics Complex has recently been completed featuring two artificial turf fields, a new track complex, and new spectator seating. Future plans include an addition to Bolera Hall, Wyland Park for baseball, McGettigan Field for softball, and remodeled tennis courts. Now all our outdoor venues are going to be first class and it's going to give us the opportunity to recruit very good student athletes. It's going to give us a chance to compete with the very best people in our conference and hopefully within the country. Our varsity athletic teams obviously benefit from the new outdoor facilities. Our intramurals are now playing flag football under the lights on turf field, which really gets the kids excited. Uh, in general, just in recruiting, uh, in recruiting athletes and recruiting non-athletes. We continually get comments on how nice the campus looks, how nice the athletic facilities look, and that certainly helps recruiting. Take a walk around campus and you'll see five beautiful bronze statues. The first, our Lady of Deliverance was dedicated back in 2004. Our most recent statue, Jesus the Teacher, arrived here in early May. These works of art help to remind our students of God's great love for them. Speaking of students, our enrollment numbers continue to climb. This year, we welcome the largest freshman class in school history. The enrollment for DeSales in the traditional undergraduate population since Father O'Connor's start as president until our record years here has grown 51%. His vision, which was just unbelievably far-reaching, pushed not only himself, but every member of this community to think big. I think we realized that this year when 503 freshmen showed up on the first day. During Father O'Connor's tenure, we've also given students more options. We've expanded our course offerings to include new undergraduate majors in areas such as Homeland Security, economics, and supply chain management. We've also started Exploratory Studies, a unique new program that helps freshman students clarify their interests and strengths and relate them to the right course of study. And we continue to advance our nationally recognized healthcare curriculum. 
Our first doctoral program, the Doctor of Nursing Practice, began in 2012. Two years later, we launched the Doctor of Physical Therapy program. Physical therapy is rated as the number eight in the top ten jobs in the United States for the next 25 years. Um, so the opportunity to come in and pursue their Doctor of Physical Therapy degree is a, is a really wonderful opportunity for those students. The DeSales Theater program continues to be recognized as one of the top programs in the country and readers of Lehigh Valley Magazine voted the Labuda Center as the best performing arts center of the Valley for 2016. Our spring semester features hits such as Young Frankenstein, The Crucible, and Peter Pan. The Pennsylvania Shakespeare Festival recently celebrated its 25th anniversary with its best season to date. The 2016 season set both attendance and ticket revenue records for the second year in a row. The festival's 26th season opens in June with the seven-time Tony Award winner Evita. Thanks to Father O'Connor, our students also have more opportunities to study abroad and explore the world. He signed official exchange agreements with institutions in Rome, Greece, Spain, Ireland, England, and Australia. De Sales is only one of two schools in the country to offer internships at the Vatican. We also offer degrees at a higher education seminary in Tanzania and a college in India. I'm studying abroad at St. Mary's University in London, England. It's just wonderful because there's so much here, there's so much culture. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to be able to be here, to be learning and fulfilling my requirements for my um, degree. It's really shaped who I am and I've learned so much about myself in this amount of time. Giving back is a big part of who we are at DeSales. Our physician assistant program opened the DeSales Free Clinic at the Allentown Rescue Mission in 2007. This student-run and student-funded clinic provides care for the less fortunate. We also help to make higher education more affordable for the vast majority of our students through a combination of scholarships, grants, loans, and student employment. More than 95% of our undergraduate full-time day students receive some form of financial aid. DeSales is also proud to offer scholarship opportunities, including a leadership scholarship now in its third year. And this year, we've tripled the amount of recipients. The best way to put it is it was a blessing and it's been a dream come true. It's changing my life. It's just a huge burden that was lifted off my shoulders. I don't think I'd be able to put it into words how grateful and thankful I am to everyone who is involved in putting this scholarship together. DeSales recently celebrated its 50th anniversary year. As we look toward the next 50 years, we will continue to remember Father O'Connor's legacy and the lasting contributions he has made to our university, our community, and beyond.